Giving people the benefit of the doubt is killing many of you. So many of you are trying to overlook patterns that people are showing to you instead of seeing things for what they are. People like to say things like, oh, well, she meant well, or he meant well, or I'm sure they didn't really mean it like that. Sometimes they mean it like that. Sometimes when they show you who they are, that is who they are. And instead of removing yourself or changing up how you act with this person, you keep trying to wait for them to display a behavior that's going to be acceptable to th that you can actually tolerate. And the only thing that happens is that they get worse and worse and worse. As feminine women, we have to use wisdom in every area of our life. When somebody shows you who they are, you have to believe that. I'm not saying that you give up on people. I'm not saying that you just dismiss people and act like they're no good. But what I am saying is that you have to use wisdom enough to not put yourself in situations that you already see red flags in. If somebody is constantly doing something to you that is hurtful, why would you tolerate that? Because at that point... It's no longer their fault. It's your fault because you are allowing them to do you however they want to do you. Feminine women have complete control over how they choose to live their lives. Of course, God is sovereign, so he's in complete control of your life. But the way you move from day to day and the interactions you choose to have with people, it is all your choice. Down to the job you work, down to where you live, it is all a choice. So we have to stop acting like, and, and, and this brings me to the point that feminine women, we don't have this defeatist, pitiful mindset. We are not pitiful. We are powerful. Feminine women do not have to tolerate nothing that we don't want to tolerate. We can remove ourselves at any moment. You have to value your own comfort and stability over giving people benefit of the doubt. I used to be the kind of person that wanted to see the best in everybody until I realized some people are just rotten. Some people don't want the best for you. Some people have a root of bitterness on the inside of them. And because of that, they want to spread it to everybody they come in contact, including you. And you might be their closest family or friend, but they will spread it to you because misery, as the saying goes, misery loves company. So giving someone the benefit of the doubt will be dangerous to your own mental and could be even physical well-being down the line if you don't start looking at the patterns they're displaying and acting accordingly. Don't be afraid to walk away from situations. Don't be afraid to say, I don't like this. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to live like this. Don't be afraid to make changes in your life because when you do, you will reap the reward of what that change brings, even though it's uncomfortable. Making change is a I'm very uncomfortable. When you have to change or when somebody is removed from your life that you're so accustomed to being there all the time, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It might even hurt. I know for me, I have certain family members that I'm no longer close to. And when I started noticing that distance between us, I was wondering, why aren't we talking the way we used to? Why aren't we, you know, trying to get together the way we used to? And what I was seeing is that it was more of a spiritual thing that God actually removed that person from my life. God put distance between us for a reason. And later down the line, I saw that the way and the direction and how I was becoming did not line up with the kind of person they are. And I'm not saying that we walk around thinking we're better than other people. It's not about that. It's about, again, choice. When you choose to live a life that is free from drama or as little drama as possible, as little stress as possible, and you have someone in your life who is bent and they thrive on turmoil, they thrive on picking at you and making little snide remarks and trying to make you feel less than, those people have to go. Or at the least, you have to put distance. And I think in my situation, God saw that I was so empathetic, so sympathetic toward this person that I was not creating the boundary that needed to be there. So he did it for me. When God knows what he wants to do with you and through you, he will rearrange things in your life strategically and you won't even see that it had happened. I know that he removed this person from my life so quickly and it hurt for a little bit. I'm like, I don't understand. Even though, 
And this is another thing. Even though the person that you so desire to be around, they might be toxic and you don't even realize it. The person might always have something negative to say about you. They might always have something negative or bitter or just outlandish to say about somebody and everybody. But because you are so accustomed to their presence, you have learned to tolerate toxicity and God is trying to show you that that is not the norm. Dealing with toxic negative behavior is not the norm. And especially for us as feminine women, we do not, and not for anybody for that matter, it is not healthy to tolerate toxic behavior from other people. Somebody constantly wants to pick at you and suppress your spirit and suppress how you are as a person. Every little thing you do seems to be problematic because it doesn't line up with how they are because they are so comfortable in their bitterness and you are too happy for them and they can't stand it. We don't deal with that, but sometimes their presence is so familiar and so comfortable because you're always around them. You don't realize just how toxic they are. So God will strategically move the people that needs to be out of your life. And that's what he did to me. And every day now, I thank him for it. Do I wish things were different sometimes that that person's presence was around? No, because now I realize their presence was negative. It was always causing me to be in that combative type of mode. And as feminine women, we are not combative. We are not always looking to tussle. We never want to tussle if we don't have to. But when you have people in your life who are always putting you in these situations where you have to be hot blooded all the time, where you just, you can't relax. You just got to be ready to go. God took that person out of my life. So this video is a little bit of a rant, has no specific topic, but it does have this one thing in mind. Don't get accustomed to being around toxic people. Have your eyes wide open when it comes to different behaviors that people display that make you feel uncomfortable, that make you feel less than, that make you feel like you're always doing something wrong or you're not doing enough. Because to feel that way on a regular basis, not saying you don't challenge yourself, because it's okay if you challenge yourself and you feel like you're not doing enough, and even then you have to show yourself grace. But if you have people around you that are always making you feel those ways I just described, that's not normal. And you might need to either let them go or put distance, because if you don't, eventually God will. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content. I will talk about femininity. I will talk about uh, whatever I choose to talk about, but a lot of wisdom from the Lord, from just my experience, from different perspectives. Like and subscribe to the channel. Press the like button so that YouTube can send this video out to as many people as possible. And lastly, this peacock, look, I'm going to get me, and I hope y'all see my little nook back there. I create a little fall nook. It's so pretty, and I gotta add more stuff to it. And I got this cute peacock dress. Oh, it's flowing. It's a flowy peacock. I'm gonna work out my camera work so y'all can see the full dress, and it got pockets. It's cute. Like and subscribe to the channel, okay? For all this wisdom, take care.